Welcome, people, to another episode of Skyward Sword Hard Mode. We are currently in Skyloft. Hello, indeed. And what we need to do is put a tablet into a temple and go into the desert. Because that's what's next. Everything to be done on Skyloft has already been covered between trips. We finished the volcano last time, so we just had to got a statue. Ah! So many of these today. I'm gonna get very. I am very excited to get to uh, the Lanaria though, because all the robot friends and the, just the game mechanics they have you play with there and stuff. It's just, it's just good. But first, we need to actually open the door because that's literally the only thing that we didn't do in preparation last time. For reference, by the way, we are carrying fairies, a wooden shield, extra bombs, and a metal that makes the monster parts drop more often. Let's put the tablet back. And now it's just complete how lovely. Let's rip an extra hole in the sky. Still not entirely sure what those are supposed to look like to everybody else in Skyloft. Because they can see the hole in the cloud, but I wonder if they can see the beacon or not. I'm not sure they actually specify that much. Confirm the location of the heart opening in the cloud pair in the sky to the southwest. Okay. You are on the surface? I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. I am already suitably prepared, so we can just go. Ah, uh, stamina. And let's see, where's the uh, best jumping off place? Over that way, I guess. Yes. <sighs> it would be so nice. Let's get this butterfly real quick. Oh, come on. What the? Really? Yeah, okay, this is not worth it. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go to the desert. The upgraded net will be lovely, but that. That's not something that can be done until after I've spent a while in the desert. Because I need ingredients that I have not unlocked the areas where they're found yet to upgrade that. But the upgraded net is. Oh, I already wish I had it. Most of. A lot of the best parts of the game are in the desert. The cost shots are some of the best part of the game, too, honestly. Just, yet again, more. The desert is great. They, they, they just put all the fun stuff here in this game. And down we go to the sea of sand full of ruins. Because even back in, this far back in history, there's still ruins all over the place. But this, this place, of part, Master, we have arrived at Uneru Mine. Honestly, these giant ones kind of make me think of like the movie Wally. -E. All the shots in the beginning of it, where there's um. 
Where they show he's the only one left. I know they show a bunch of giant ones that are also broken down. I like get those exact vibes. Except I'm pretty sure this is. I think this came out first, actually. Yeah, I am incredibly distracted by random lore bullshit. But yeah, that that's par for the course for me, isn't it? Like, look at look at these giant robot friends just sit in the boot. Speaking of, that is also what I'm standing on. So it's a giant robot. Just broken down robot friends everywhere. See, identify. This robot is part of the LD301 series of artificial life forms. It's just one of a number of mass produced robots. It was not assigned to name. These robots usually work to mine time shift stones and provide maintenance. It looks just like the one that was up in Skyloft in the scrap shop. Cube. We'll worry about what's in here later. I want to explore the mines. Ooh! But first, that uh, buzzing is some of the rarest bugs in the game. Come on, can I? Are my sneaking skills good enough? For one of them, sand cicadas! Those are valuable. I think. I'm... I'm genuinely not sure how much I'm gonna end up needing potions or not. Ah! My estimates indicate that this object has been broken for many years. I am unable to analyze the content of its speech at the time. So the broken robot's still kind of sputtering. Oh no, I forgot about that. Poor friend. Save real quick, just because the save point's here. Also, I need to make sure the fast travel point's actually registered. Because if I accidentally skip one of those, that'd that would just slow me down so much. Ooh. Get little storage boxes and stuff. Yeah. Over analysis, I care too much uh, about uh, tiny little set pieces and objects. But ah, that's fine. This is so cool. Push the little minecarts. And I'm just gonna push it all the way over the edge, cause. Yes. I'm gonna need that for a boost if I ever want to backtrack. Oh! Zappy Boys! Yellow Choo Choo's. Capable of generating electricity for short bursts of time. Yes. Give you shock. And attempt to feed on you. This is not pleasant. <laughs> yes, the, the the way she felt the need to tell me it wouldn't be pleasant. What what? The electric jelly creature is trying to feed on me. Wow, wow. She feels the need to tell me it would suck, as if. As if the track record of everything that's happened so far doesn't kind of indicate that that'd be a terrible thing to have happen. Oh, right. I gotta... I gotta pull this all the way this way. Yeah, mind you damn thing. really has any idea what the fuck he's trying to do. I have a feeling he's, this really is just fuck around and find out time to basically. Okay, let's refill those bombs a little. I could use the bomb flowers, but I don't want them to blow up in my hands while I'm aiming, so I'm just not gonna. 
Oh, just rubies. I was really hoping there'd be something more exciting in that one. I had no point in pushing that yet, but here we arrive at the first neat shit. The first neat shit. And by that I mean the first instance of one of my favorite game mechanics. But first we're gonna grab a few extra rupees because you never know when you're gonna need to just buy a massively expensive thing. Because other games do tend to just have a few giant purchases and have very little low tier things to purchase at all. Little broken robots everywhere still. Until, of course, poke the gem with the basically chic eye on it. Hello! And the friends are alive! And the region is lush again. Because on top of everything else, they've been climate changed. What the? Hello, friend. Where did you come from? We're here collecting time shift stones and transporting them to the mining facility. Stay away from the blue stone, sir. Too dangerous for humans. I am able to confirm that a time shift has occurred within this space. Any impact to the blue stones creates a sustained temporal disruption field in the surrounding area. Readings show that this area is in a past time state. Yes! Sustained temporal disruption fields for the win! Ah, uh, same thing as before? What do the other friends say? That's a minecart for transporting time shift stones, sir. They're not for human use, so get lost! <laughs> not for human use. Well, fortunately for you, I am a Hylian. <laughs> Wait, no. No. No control, but we don't need that. You even got claws, he's dig. Do not interfere with mining operations! Stop talking to me! Oh, but you're so cute, little friend! With your mining claws. <laughs> They're so friend shaped. Mine card in front of the door is going to pass through here, so it's dangerous for you to be here. Maybe you should just go away. Ah, uh, yes. They're just like, why are you in our workspace, dude? I don't know, just, just cause. Ancient flowers. Valuable. I need lots of these. It supposedly glows in the dark, floors in the ancient past. These are really useful because they're extinct. They have good juice. And... It does work. Yes. Just push it to the other side of the disruption field. Ride it. Actually, I don't even want to go this way first. I want to... Because I think there's just a little treasure pocket if I jump in that other car. I wish it would let me jump out halfway through, but it's, it doesn't. Which is a little silly. But I think if I jump in this one, it just dumps me in. Prizes? There should be stuff. Roller coaster lied. Ah, I thought so. A dead end with a treasure chest. Not much, but eh, it's something. Huh? You looking for work? To get rid of that funny looking hat, come back here with the helmet! <laughs> <sighs> Strange things have started attacking us recently. We don't have any weapons to defend ourselves, so if they attack, we're fried! Oh no! Well, let's just actually go where we need to go now. I love how he's correct. 
blasting the way. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, <laughs> I, I just love these little guys so much. Actually, to the next room now. Do. Ooh. Now here's some time for some fun. Let's get these rocks out of the way real quick. Cause sometimes these rocks have stones under them and I was right. Come on. I'm so glad I can refill my bombs while I wait for one to explode. And only one's active at once. You notice the one bubble turned off while the other turned on, but... Whoa! Hey, buddy. The time ship stones power us, as well as the machines we use, for it. That's why I have to stay hard at work. So, mining robots run on the same material that they're extracting. It's a very good motivator to keep them doing their job. You're interested in the time shift stones? Then you should take us to our Linnea mining facility. I intend to, little buddy. Well, by take a tour, I mean sneak around, steal shit, and destroy your security drones. But, uh, that's the same thing, right? Let's play basketball. Whoa. Yeah, ha ha ha. Okay. Come on. Cause I so it took me way too long to actually figure out that the uh, choo choos are You can tap the time when you hit them whether or not they'll zap ya. I don't think I realized that first time I played because I just a change in tactic just made such a difference. I'm just like eh. whatever though. Just gotta continue playing basketball for a bit. Cause the quicksand stream here is nice. Ooh! Ah! Do not zap me. There we go. Is that just money? Yeah. Useful, but not that useful. Ooh! Bugs! If I ever need high tier potions, I'm going to need a shit ton of all of the bugs. So I may as well get all of them. And if I even and if I need rupees, the guy who sells bugs is also just such a good source. So, guy who buys bugs. I I'd, I'd be selling bugs. Ah. Words. But eh. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Turn your brain back on, lizard. Okay. Basketball, basketball. We got decent aim here. Kind of. <laughs> sort of good enough. Die. Die. Ooh. Treasure metal already doing its job. Oh! Okay, I am glad I actually made it there. That was... I wasn't sure I was going to for a second. Oh, you fuckers. Right. We're going to... Wait, I already have these out. Ah! Okay. We're not gonna let him do that a second time because that sucked. We're gonna do this. Huh. <sighs> Much better. And we're going to repeat that a few times because these guys suck. Really? With the stamina? Did 
Please be close enough. Of course not. Why would it be? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna... Okay. This is... This is not ideal. Huh. Oh my god, the shield. I. You know, I'm not sure I've even tried to block that with the shield before, and I am disappointed in myself. See, the thing is, I'm good at games, but I often do dumb tactics and do it the hard way without realizing it and just brute force my way through, which usually ends up in with, with me being. Really familiar with the map, with a lot of collectibles and a very high level character, but I. It also, um. It also leads to lots of dumbass moments. Ah, so much. So much jelly, though. I need more bombs. I don't have nearly enough bombs. There we go. Peace claws. Treasure medal is notice. Gotten so gotten so much so many mob drops today. Come on. Cause I have very little memory of where the time shift stones actually are. That guy's here, so that means there's probably one within reach of him. No? Oh. Well then. Refills for the bombs. Managed to use basically all of them. Interesting, but. Picking up bombs is slow. Nah. But I need these because I don't actually remember how frequent the refills are, so. Yeah, good enough. I might end up looping back around. Okay. If I run max speed, that should be like exactly the length of my stamina. I'm pretty sure that's how this thing's set up. Hmm. Or not. See, the thing is, when you're playing normal mode, you can just make that because the stamina thing increase. Not the direct path. I don't know what else would be. It's the only thing I ever remember doing before. It's not like moving that will do any good until I turn any time shift stones on. I don't see any time shift stones. Wait. I might just be a doofus because it might just be over there. And is it just. Yeah. Yet again, I'm thinking two steps ahead and actually forgetting the early steps. Why do I always do this? How about instead of fighting you, we just do this? Best way to kill this. Hi, friend. I don't see many humans around here. You interested in the time shift zones? Yes. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna bother breaking that one. It couldn't be a time shift film. Dragon Flight, come on. Yay! My bug collection is really shaping up. I'm basically just missing the forest bugs that I don't have because I didn't have the net yet when I went past them. And I'll be going to the forest again, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, okay. You die. And what is in here? Ooh! Those are always good. Golden skull ornament. Oh, yes. This flower scent. Right! Okay. You're just rude. There we go. Now this should be. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Oh, uh, would you use this for again? Uh, which things? Which things? Upgradey things? Basically, any mob drop is just for upgrades. Um, for items. Uh, we have arrived at Lanary Desert. The trend in this area changed dramatically as climate forces rapidly turned into a desert. Yes. In the year after the gods banned into the earth, some of the luscious lands went harsh. Went all parched and dead. Because, you know, of course it did. As a safe Sure, check the terrain because there's just quicksand everywhere. Yes, there's the map can kind of tell you where things are. So the pass through here, so just reuniting north quickly to determine motivations behind your actions. Nelden, yeah, we we need to figure out why she ditched us last time we met up because. What the hell was that, Zelda? Also, nobody has explained to Link yet what the hell anyone means by spirit maiden. Because the fact that she's the spirit maiden is well established and clearly important, but nobody's no nobody's told them what that means yet. Dude's still just running off of vague guesswork, I guess. Sometimes things happen when you do that, and it's fun. Ah! That's not fun. <laughs> ah. Those keep respawning too, which is convenient sometimes and deeply annoying others. But, yeah, whatever. Ah! Well, that was terrible. Uh, don't tell me. I need one of those as a boost to get up. Yeah, because there is something up there. I can use the shell for a boost after he dies, but I have to wait for another to freaking respawn. <sighs> Dodging them is... Wait. Do they actually stun with slingshots, I want? Not sure I've tried that, because I think there's a piece of work back there. But they respawn faster than that. Oh well. Get this one to chase me over instead. Amber. 
Hey, it was fun. What? Oh, is my re do they really have restricted ranges? I thought they respawned. They're supposed to respawn, I guess, huh? Yeah. Not that one? I guess I'll get that later, because I, I, I will be looping back around here anyway. Because that gate opens from the other side. Come on, stupid thing. Hit an obstacle near me instead of me. Oh, come on. Seriously. I thought I could get that to a killable place. I guess not. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so... As far as I know, I can't get that cube until noticeably later. Until, because I actually need to be able to use the claw shot targets to get them. Uh, I need to heal so that the beeping stops. Free tumbleweed! I need these to upgrade the net and a couple other things as well. Um... And they're actually really annoying to catch, so if, with the unupgraded net, so like, I, I, that's actually a kind of big deal to get that. Okay. So what we got here is a friend in distress. He died in a cage. He didn't deserve that. So, so we're going to do something about that with explosives. Not like that. Um, I think I need to throw it from up here. Yes. Okay. And I should be able to reach this one from here? Yes. Perfect. I'm shift stone in there. I jumped down too soon. Because of course I did. Because to actually turn the stone on, I need to get another basketball in. I'm just gonna keep calling them basketballs. And another time distortion. And the bones reanimate into an enemy. An enemy who cannot leave this bubble without turning back into bones. Help! Oh no! He has been captured and he is in trouble. Okay. I... I remember being kind of bad at fighting these guys, so... Hmm. Sling shot, maybe? Yes. Nice. Ah, you see how he turned the bones there? <laughs> better okay so actually using the stun is gonna be very important yes so this guy is a very important rescue if he hadn't come along they would have sucked all the electricity out of me oh no oh look at that you have a beat it appears to be an older model of one hair fabrication Thanks for saving me. I will upgrade that for you. Give it here for a few seconds. Yes! Upgrades. Give me them upgrades. Now it's going to grab her and I can pick things up with it. And carry it. I can now carry bombs with my drone. Okay. 
Also, it is another of the things that I kind of needed the... It's another of the things I think I need the tumbleweeds for. Yes. I don't remember if there's actually... I don't remember whether or not there's actually anything important in behind any of these or... Or not. I think they're mostly just here for walking over the quicksand. Might get a couple amorous out of it, though. Mm. That's not a particularly useful direction. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to traverse ridiculous sand somewhere here. I think it's this way. Yes, this this area will open quite a path when I do it. Die. I also um upgrading the beetle so it's faster will be real nice once I get that. But that's that's a thing to happen after this entire segment. Because I think there's fairly like an items used in upgrading the beetle's speed. The, the speed basically just extends the range. So it can like literally go twice as far. It's definitely worth it. Uh. Uh. This is not the most clear direction in path area. See, I, f I absolutely love the mines and the robots and stuff. But the quicksand is, well, I mean, well, it's quicksand. It, it's always a bit of a slog to get through the quicksand levels. That's just kind of inherent. But... Luckily, it's more just a vat of quicksand to find the entrance to the level. Yeah, over here. Right. Ooh. Oh, I, I actually have to time my explosives, don't I? All right, fine. Die. Die. Ah. Uh, so some... Because I know in some spots they do respawn because walking on their shells is literally the only way to get across. Uh, yeah. But... Now please, please don't be able to shoot me while I'm standing there. No! God, they didn't even let me have an aerial shot of that. I was... Ow! Electric spoons are my new least favorite creatures. Fuck you. is most important. Most of the cubes drop rupees by the hundreds anyway. See, that guy respawned. Why couldn't the guy on the ledge that I thought had a heart piece on the other side have respawned? That would have only been too convenient, I guess. Really? 
You know what? Please work, please work. <sighs> Fine. Can I do it here? Will it at the right time? Come on, timing. Die! Yes! This might literally be the most Glad I can have a shortcut and never want to go back this way again. Places the game, and it's actually an easy shortcut to miss opening up. Can I open it up already? Please tell me I can. Yes, yes, I can. Okay. Because I am. This is one of those things. This is just. It'll make my life so much easier. Give me your heel. Because this is now a pathway that just lets me avoid that damn quicksand. Because I hate these crap things. I should scan them and see what they're called, but I don't want to get close enough to those. I'll scan that next one that's upcoming. Uh, ooh, perfect safe spot right there. We'll need to stock up on fairies or potions or something before I actually get to next area, but... What is this called? Ampelus, that's right. These monsters have inhabited the desert for eons. Their defined characteristic is an ability to internally generate electrical energy. It is also said to live to very old age. Their shells are able to disperse weight surprisingly well, allowing them safely to reverse desert sink sand. Yeah. The, uh... These guys are one of those ones you can actually kind of define. One of the many things you can see past and present versions of, which is always fun. Ha ha ha. See if this is just floating. This is just so slow. Claw shot. The beloved claw shot I'm not gonna have for so long. Sinking soon, but can I get to? Yes, okay. And nothing over there but things to dig up. Bastard creature. I can just avoid because there's nothing else in that direction. Yay, okay. I need the claw shots to open up the shortcut to avoid that next time, I think. Uh-huh. Oh! Alright, I'm over here now. Is it? Here we start actually messing with the time shift stones instead of the quicksand for a bit again. Which is always yay. I do not want to be standing right next to that when I hit the time shift stone. He will spawn on my butt and kill me. I'm only standing over here. That's probably in my best interest. Got the equipment functional. Oh! Okay. 
I misjudged the safety of this spot a little bit. I suppose that's the point. Well then. Ah. Well, it's dead now, and that's what matters. Uh, this does stun. Does this work? Ah! Ah! Okay. Go. Don't run toward me from the. Ah! what I meant to do, but I thought that works arguably better. Come here. Flowers, because I need scissors for scrapper mostly. Okay, I can go this way. Next time shift stone over. That one's fun one. This one first. Come on. Come on, little beetle. Fly faster. I know you don't yet, but come on. Hmm. Well, that's more just the direction. Well, that's not actually useful yet. I do actually want to go straight for this one. This, this, this is cool. Okay. Yes. So. Try that again. Actually hit the crystal inside on the way. Or not. Well, I do need to hit the pink crystal. I... What? I actually didn't expect that to cancel the beetle. Huh. The, um... I got so used to the upgraded beetle speed, I'm still expecting that, it seems. Not the greatest way to function. Too used to late game tech. Extra flower. Ooh, we will be needing to get that cube. I think that's successful now at least. Dr. Ox. Die. Good. Oh really? Gotcha. Let's get a few of these while they're convenient. Cause these are actually Expensive. If you, or at least, little, I'd say there's, I said they're expensive, but like, spending rupees on palms is silly. So it's more just that. Lots of fun things to do over here, but first, hi, Orko. What you up to? Good to see you, bud. Susan's going up everywhere. So I am going to talk. Anyway, but there's something I'm dying to tell you. It's the discovery of the century. It's a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. I could not believe my eyes when I saw a human who was a legendary idol goddess. It wore clothes just like the ones written about in the ancient manuscripts. It looked just like you, bud. It came with another person. They entered the temple. I wanted to chase after them. But then there was an explosion all of a sudden at the entrance. Well, you can see for yourself, bud. Do not think we're getting past this mess. Just we can find out what's happening on the other side. 
Shortcut through the mines. That that is the solution. First. One of these rocks has a patch of stone under it. That I need to get into thing. And I think it's probably this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm forgetting. Does this trap pots? It does. Fun. Oh no, another robo friend is in distress. You know what? I'll solve this with explosives. So why the hell not? Bombs away! <laughs> that worked exceptionally well. Come on. Where are ya? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hey, buddy. Everything's fine. That was really scary. Thanks for helping me. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the sacred gate of time made by the goddess. It's my job to patrol outside the temple. If you want to reach the gate of time, you'll need to pass through that door. Huh? You need another way in? Well, the Nader Mining Facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. The Nader Mining Facility is right here. This map looks inaccurate. I'm gonna fix it for you. Ah, uh, yes, the what it looks like in the past map. Ah, uh, yes. This is basically. Yes. Map, if you possess the corresponds to the actual train of the area with only 35% accuracy. The robot you met earlier modified not show past terrain that's now submerged below the quicksand. Yes. Basically, the places where the ruins are under the sand are also... Um, the places where the ruins are under the sand are also places where, um... You don't actually sink into the quicksand. It's kind of safe to walk through. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cube. That's so, let's go on the cubes. Ah. There we go. Much better. Hmm. Shields get to be in slightly bad shape. Not ideal. This is just a shortcut back, isn't it? Turn on this crystal real quick just to confirm there's nothing. Valuable. I think it is just a shortcut back. I think I can grab. A, I think I saw a flower here though, so I can at least grab that. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a shortcut. Meaning I don't need to go that way, I just go into the cave. What does she have to say? Oh, she's just telling me I'm... She's just telling me I am low on hearts. And I can douse for hearts, even though I need special items to make them here. Ah, uh, yes. So now... I have... Certain safe paths... That I can go between. Noticing I'm not thinking. I can confirm you will not be consumed by the quicksand in this current position. I successfully. Yes. 
I think I do get more beacons for this though, which means that I can kind of map out brief paths for a little bit, which is nice at least. I these birds suck though. Okay, I guess I want because that's a corner I can go between. That's the corner I can go between. There we go. Puzzles! <laughs> okay, where is he now? Cause I need... Yeah, he just deactivated. Alrighty. Right. Healing stool. Thank you. A lasting spot. If is not interactable in the state, I need to explode. Oh, there's it's a lovely healing. That uh, there's a lovely safe spot there. That's convenient. Oh, shit! No, no, no! You know what? Just sink. I'll go back onto the top. It's fine! It's fine! You, you apparently didn't even take damage. Okay. Let me save. Because this is a very important save spot. The. Just getting to the front door of the temple is a little bit of a task in and of itself. Okay. Come on, work. Only on one of them? See what's behind here and flop it down for next time anyway. Even the gems in the ground so much more colorful. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Really? I thought that would be convenient. I was actually I ooh was this because this. Walls are always valuable. Ah, yes. Main building. Or not. Actually, I need to poke the thing next to the safe spot still. That actually does have to go first. There's just. I'm not entirely sure how much sequence breaking is even possible. Hmm. Okay, I just want those rocks broken and. There we go. Because this is an important thing to interact with over here. You're not my memory banks. This is a power generated from the mechanism that opens the entrance to the main remining facility. But it won't budge into you after the power's node and sets to retiles. Yes. Should I actually activate this quest before I started doing it? And I can douse through the generators right now. But I'm fair sure as I can be one of them it is in a certain place. Interesting as well that the um sword key is even a thing like that in the first place. Chest just gonna tease me until we have the claw shots. Yeah, that's actually you clear out in here because there be stuff. Uh, 
Right, right. Because I can't get... I can't do anything about all these piles of dust yet. Because that requires the dungeon item. But there should be a time shift stone in here, right? There's usually a time shift stone in these. You absolute piece of shit! Almost wish these bombs had a shorter fuse. That's probably. That's probably just a way to get myself killed, but if I were to have something like that, but eh. Come on, come on, come on. Time shift stone. Good. This is what we need. Dig this up first because it might not be there when I press the button. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's an egg now. But more importantly, the facilities actually improper use, which is genuinely cool. But it also means. Like these guys are just everywhere. He hasn't noticed it though, so. Might as well stealthily take him out anyway. This is why bombs don't have a fuse, they're pushed to detonate. So, uh, both yes and no. That the, because they both have a longer fuse and a shorter fuse at the same time. Um. How exactly do I interact with these again? Yes, I can move these because their electricity is important. I hit it with my. Oh, I can carry it. Right, I carry that with the beetle. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I forgot how neat that was. I uh, was probably a little premature putting that over there, but... There we go. Him dead. Ah! That, that is not the slingshot! Shit. Huh. I can't swing too haphazardly if them. They're actually too good at parrying. For me to use that tactic. To think more. Uh, I think I do need to blow that up. Can I throw high enough for that? Please. Good. Is there actually anything up there? Eh. I was really hoping that was something. I guess not. Yes! Okay, so I've remembered how to fight those, I guess. Now, I just gotta remember how to do the other half of this stuff. I, I don't want to be holding that. What? 
Like, why did that even go into my hand? I guess that retrieves like that. That's just a dig spot. Okay, I know I put one in there. Is it just... It's really as dumb as I didn't sit it on the button. Eh. Come on, go into there. Yay! That's a cool ass guy, what? 50. I'm gonna cause the property damage before I talk to the guy. Because why would I be polite or have any sort of social graces? I'm a wimp after all! <laughs> I only have a gremlin children. You're trying to figure out how to configure the device to get you into a near my own facility? You look kind of suspicious. Probably shouldn't be telling you that. I would access the remote power node sent through the facility. And don't let me catch you stopping your fiddling with this device. You... You don't let me... Stab it? Like that? And fiddle with it? Like that? <laughs> But what, but what if I want to? <laughs> hey! Success. Uh, there's one generator down. Two to go. <sighs> this place is cool, but it does make you Backtrack a lot. I just want to get into the actual mining facility. That's the most fun part. Alrighty. Don't need that there. Don't need that there. But that would be useful. And that would be useful. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's over. Ah, I see. It's over that way. Okay. To get to that cube, I need to go this path. Easy peasy. Fuck you, if I run fast enough you shouldn't be able to aim. And I'm right. Do not fucking pelican ass thing dropping boulders in my face. This is, this is cryptic. Mm. I'm not entirely convinced I can get that without the claw shot. I'll come back to that later. I'm not gonna spend too long on that. Things that'll be a pain in the ass that I am fairly confident I'll be returning to later. I need to get down to this building now, which means beacons. Beacons are lit. Doot. Doot. And I just light up this whole half. Okay. Or not. That's, uh, Some of these places are not actually quicksand, but this is fine. That's less fun. Oh, are you kidding me? I hate you. <sighs> this over where the entrance is is just a pillar. Definitely cicadas over here. 
that I've startled. Great. Ah, uh, I turn fast. He just skins the fucking cactus. I right. Lovely, lovely safe spot. But first, shortcut opened. So that I can access everything from the easier direction now. Hey. This desert is cool, but I forgot how long it takes to actually get into the mine in the first place. Cause this is all just storage stuff and generators still. Really? Perhaps I am not caring quite as much as I maybe could be able to about actually staying alive, but eh. Oh, actually, I did use all three carries, so maybe I shouldn't be a little more careful, but like, eh. I'm not that. There's just not that much danger. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's work notes from the robots all over the place. I think that guy might respawn, so I'm not <laughs> Fucking A. I did just save, thankfully, so it'll respawn me right near the door. Annoying. But, I admit, I was not as careful around the horrible Electro Nautilus as I could have been. So, that, that was a little on me. I'm a little less focused on the uh, enemies and more on the puzzle, which might not actually be in my best interest, but also kind of lose track of where, there is a ledge where they stop, at the point where they stop being able to actually reach me as well and I kept me miscalculating where that was. Really? Wow! Ay, ay, ay. Yes! The time ship stone. Thank you. That means I can do this. This is significantly less hazardous. I mean, there are... Technical ones, but I'm not actually as worried about the bocos as I am about the everything else. Oh, come on! I failed my fatal strike. There we go. All right. 
variety. So this one's got... Oh! How did you get behind me? No oh, blind corner I just didn't notice. Must have been. Ooh, regular skull ornaments, lovely. What? Um. <laughs> huh. I like to have this. It's actually a little weird to have the stun setting to be useful. Because a lot of enemies don't deal enough damage to be really worth stunning in a normal mode. Half the reason I like Zelda hard modes is simply because I always end up basically using an entirely um, different set of main and secondary tools to assist me with things, because literally the same tactics don't usually work in both modes. Oh, is this the- Is- will him giving me a boost do anything? No, nope, that's not how that works. But, oh, right. Gotta turn the quicksand back on to get over in this direction. Oh. Oh, no, I'm supposed to bait one over and kill him in the right spot. But, and I, oh, it's one of those. Because <sighs> if I don't ride his shell, I won't be able to get over far enough. Yeah, okay. Gonna do this. Cause this seems like it works decently good. Yes. Prizes? Come on. Come on. Yep. Treasure chest up here. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Opening up the shortcut. This game is really nice about ooh, making the opening up shortcuts permanent. Because sometimes, that some games make that only last till you leave the building, and that's just. Okay, beetle time. Gotta turn the time back. Back to how it's supposed to be. And I'm probably gonna need to grab the eggy guy as well. Yes. Yes, must retrieve egg. There it is. Don't know how long this is gonna last, it might drop it. I don't think this goes straight to my hands. Hmm. Beetle's extent. Rings is already better than I thought it was. <laughs> really? I got stuck between it and the side. I got stuck 
between the electric thing and the halfway open door. That was some janky hitbox ridiculousness. Ah. Uh, uh, whatever. Because. Barely. I'm gonna carry you over ahead of time. Oh, I'm. Um, I didn't actually stay because the time shift bullshit. I genuinely thought that box would stay. I guess not. Don't want to drop it into the void. I just realized that's gonna get reset when I quicksand myself back. When I turn the quicksand on to get back over. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, at least it remembers I killed the cobbles. I don't have to do that again. Sand. creatures. I just want to get to the mine. And you can't get to the mine until after I deal with these bastards. thing. There's... I know there's got to be a slightly better way to do that, but if there is, I haven't actually found it. Um... Time to try to get the electricity thing again, and just try to avoid tasing myself, because I have taken most of my damn- most of the damage taken this session has just been me accidentally tasing myself by getting the timing wrong on things that flicker on and off. Not a, not a great thing to let keep happening like that, for sure. But also, this isn't actually a puzzle that comes up too many times. I'm trying! But when you have to pick up, I'm. Yeah, you have to pick up and touch and poke and bowl with live electricity. It's just like. I'm not allowed rubber gloves or electrical tape, and I'm being told to rewire something. Stop shocking yourself! <laughs> zap, 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 zap. 
<laughs> it's fine I can't feel my fingers. I just found a horn. Monster horn for alerting others or making terrible music. Why the hell would it need to be OSHA compliant? Humans aren't supposed to set a foot in here. It's supposed to be entirely staffed by robots. The fact that you're in here is a safety hazard for you, and all the robots will tell you that. So no, o OSHA compliance not included. It's your own fault for being in the automated facility in the first place if you get damaged by the machinery. <laughs> Cause the robots do levitate. And out we go. Alrighty. Save so that we don't have to do that bullshit again. <laughs> I mean... Fair point! What even is dead electricity? Nothing, that's what it is. <laughs> now that this fucker's alive again, though... Maybe I can get up into that cave, because I want to get up into that cave that requires faking this guy out into the wall or something. That did not work. Boost. Or am I just an idiot and that path comes out the other end? I don't think that's how I get there, and I think I'm being silly. Um... Undead electricity? Um... I don't think there are any both undead and electric at the same time enemies. Actually, wait, what am I talking about? That's the pirate ship, Captain. We will be in... I, there, I will actually arguably be encountering instances of undead electricity. I'm not focusing well enough. That death was stupid, and I shouldn't have let that happen. Um, but, more meaningfully, I'm power generator, roughly that. That's not helpful. Okay. There's definitely at least something I'm, uh, I've missed, but I really don't know in what direction, so. Alrighty. That takes me there. And that inner circle is just nothingness. Alright. Do I just need- I thought there was an extra thing to get, but it still seems to just be leading me back to the generator? Huh. This is way faster than quicksand. Yes. Okay. Let's get back up here and see if I'm actually really just... So it is time. For some reason, I thought... There were three keys I needed? But that doesn't entirely seem to be the case. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, if the... Yes. Okay. There was something about the position these things were in, wasn't there? Oh, multiple dowsing targets still. Durr. Haven't quite braved this portion of the sand yet. Have I? Or no, no, I think I have. I. Huh. That just leads me to a wall, but... Yeah, I think I need to go all the way around to the circle to get there. Um, hmm. This way, this way, ridiculousness. Ugh. I thought that this stream would be getting to and doing the mining facility, but... It might end up just being getting there because this takes longer than I remembered. But eh, that's fine. And luckily, it's enough of a grid that I can vaguely keep track of where the pathways are, even without constantly using the beacons. So at least there's that. Especially since they keep putting the news. Yes, it, it is incredibly easy to get lost here. Especially when things like the multiple thousand points kind of pointing in the same direction. I hate how much those guys can stun lock you. Is that a tumbleweed? Can I get that while running? Seriously? Die, you piece of shit! Yep. And the hands down my least favorite creature to fight. Everything else has exploitable weaknesses. That don't involve having to rely on terrain that you can dodge or jump up on around. Because literally, if I can't find a safe space to to. I don't actually know how to fight these guys too good. Not, not sure about how much of a way there even is, or... Yeah, it's definitely two separate dowsing spots that's being detected. It's just the issue of... How the fuck I get there? Because I think they are making me backtrack on myself a little bit, maybe? Because I wouldn't have known to use the pathways post thing. Or there are two, and I'm just being really dumb about how the dial works. Oh, I thought I'd be able to grab that. Uh, also, this place gets so easy to navigate once you get the claw shots that just let you jump over half of the shit that, um, 
it's really easy to forget how much it sucks before you get claw shots because y it just becomes a jungle gym to Spider-Man around later on. And that's great! Uh, yeah, I do definitely need to go this way. Remove the spoon. Cause you just need to open that door. Just need to get that. Just need to get that key open or whatever. But. Cause the mine is just the coolest shit. And I kind of did. I kind of really did want to get to the mine today because the mine's just so cool, but it's taking so long. I'm not actually sure I'll be able to get it in. Da, da, da. Okay. Okay, two dowsing targets. Is that's the entrance? That's that's the one I'm following. Okay. And. Be so glad I did this. Ants for collectible sake. Yeah, I just loop around this. It's not the most obvious area of how it works, and most of the not obvious things. I remember, but uh, not this one. And this is... <sighs> That's... Literally, I would rather take the long way than try to deal with this fucking impulse again. That's literally the most difficult direction to go in. I need to access that from the other side as well. God damn it. <sighs> okay, beetle scouting, please. For a little bit of fucking ideas of how this connects actually because the map is useless oh yeah there's the whole chunk over there I... oh oh i see how that's connected i think that's a little annoying but i think I think the direction to... I think I actually have spotted the correct direction to go. Can I get around that way? No, no, I know I can't. I was really hoping I could shortcut that. Also, um, I have come to realize that I relied on a lot of paths that aren't actually possible with short and stamina wheels when I've been here previous times. The, this quicksand, I think, is officially the first time that the reduced stamina for the reduced stamina because of hero mode has actually been a problem. Haha. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. So I'm here because I need to get all the way around out. Yeah. I need to get this way. Because the slope off to the side of over here. over by where I can heal real quick anyway. 
I had gone the other way around so that I could tell how to douse and target spots. Cause that's not a direction to go, but that is. This is mildly ridiculous, but. Does that make me drop it? No, I would need an arrow to do that, of course. <laughs> oh, I didn't heal when I had the chance. That's that might backfire on me. You know, I really thought that would just pick it up. Um, heal, heal, I need heal. I need heal my stupid ass. <sighs> I stopped the heart shortened. Mr. Pelican? Does my existence really irk you that much? Is there a bomb flower nearby? No. Uh, oh, there's one over there. Because I think if I fly a beetle holding a bomb into him, I'll die. May or may not be the only way to do that. Um. I think I missed this path the first time because I was too busy running from birds. Because they suck. Hmm. God, kill this guy because I don't want to get sniped while I'm on quicksand throwing bombs. That's just a terrible combination. But I think... I think I can... Oh! Oh, yes, I, rem I think I remember exactly what this is now. So that was a uh, misdrop of the bomb. Consistently in this game, the bombs hidden behind cracked walls. They um The cracked walls you need to bomb are just not very visible. But I suppose that was exactly what the dowsing was for. But the, the dowsing was... Well, it's simply not as helpful in this area as in most other areas of the game. Because of the way the circle is. One of these. Just, yeah. The key's just back there. Will that count? It's on the rim. It does not. Uh, just amber. Eh, whatever. Here we go. 
There we go. All right. Time to open the door. Ultra remote power nodes have been activated. Yes. There is. I don't think I've scanned these type yet. These are the cobblins will sophisticated weaponry created by an ancient and highly evolved civilization. If you are struck with the discharge from one of their electrical weapons, you may become paralyzed. Yes, I know. They also wear the latest in the cobblin fashion. Yes, this is zebra stripes. That's actually kind of directly saying that they've just appropriated these weapons, though. Which is a thing the goblins are known to do. Though whether they've created them themselves or not is always interesting. Right, there's a trick to this. Ah, uh, yes. There's the positions I gotta put them in. Water goes, uh -huh, not good. Okay, so, or I like to fire that way, so. We go water one there. Fire one was there? Not there. There. I come on. I thought it can. Come on. There we go. And yes! Gotcha. Activating the ancient tech. Also another reason why it's so easy to get lost. Literally the main landmark to get your bearings didn't exist during that sequence and you can use the temple to orient yourself from now on. Cause well, yeah. <laughs> I need potions before I go in there, and it's the two hour mark, I probably should just end the stream so that the next one starts at the beginning of that, because, yeah, I don't want this to be another, like, six hour stream, that'd be excessive, so... A trip to buy potions and then probably just gonna save by the door. Just a little bit of a shame, but uh, didn't get as far as intended, but that's fine. Need some potions. I have enough hearts now, I'll just buy red potions. And. Yeah. Starting in fresh dungeon two hours in does not sound like a very good idea. So. This. 
Let's just get the potions. Just get the potions. And actually... Actually... Yes. Upgrade... Oh, actually... What do you... Uh, I have in progress for these things. Ooh, I just need rocket larva. That's just next time I go into the forest. Okay. Dusk relics are a long way off. Just need crystals. Okay. Eh. I can replace the shield so easily. Worth it, I need more skulls. Okay, so just fix shield instead of upgrade, that's fine. Yes, fix, fix, fix the shield. Gotta re-equip it now, though, annoyingly. Oh, my bombs are empty? Shit. Oh, that's not a good thing. Yes. Yes, I need these. Yes, yes, more hearts. Actually, there's probably a cube I can grab to just to get it out of the way in case it has a heart piece in it. First, how much does it actually cost to just buy these? Actually, you know what? 20 rupees for 10. I can only hold 15. Screw it. That's nowhere near as bad as I expected. So. Eh, sure. Um. Let's uh, just. Head back out, I guess. Because I do want to at least be saved at the, um... I at least want to be saved at the entrance to the mine if it's getting saved for next time like that. But... I may as well get the cubes I sent into the sky first. I think one of these even has a piece of heart in it. Ooh! That Beatles Island one. That may or may not be one I need to... That may or may not be the one I need to sleep in Beatles' house to get there at night to get. So at least that's there. I think I did... Ash. I think there was a heart piece to find on the way to the mine entrance, but I just didn't quite find the path. There is a... Yeah. Ah. Let's see. This was... So is it on the outside then? This rock has a chest on it, it's just on the outside, okay. What the fuck just happened? Okay, um, try that again. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Heart metal. So if I have trouble staying alive, I now have the option to use up a pocket slot to have some 
kind of hurts to just drop all over the place constantly again. Kinda. Honestly, just scaling the difficulty back a little bit, which seems a little cheap to me. So I'm not gonna do it unless I actually start struggling a bit. Doing it just cause we just be canceling the challenge. It's important to have really. Come on. I just build up some speed here. Fast travel in the sky would be so nice. It doesn't even need much, like literally, with the size of this map of Skyloft. If I could just fast travel between the main island and the pumpkins even, that would be immensely helpful. Oh, using any metals? Currently, the... Currently, the, um... Oh, I didn't even realize I had pocket space for that. I actually think I might, uh, replace that with an ammo bag or something. But currently we're using the treasure metal and it has been doing a lot of work. But I'm honestly wondering if... Actually, no, it would be... I think I am going to just start carrying the slingshot bag again. Because I actually was using it, and that's... The heart metal is reserved for if I get in too bad of a death loop and start... Or something and start struggling. But, uh, I'll, I think I get the ammo pack back. Now there are, I think, two chests on... Yeah, just rupees. Cool. I believe there are two chests on Beatles Island, and one of them is accessible during the day, and one of them is only accessible at night. I don't know which one this is. We will see momentarily. It's easy to get to one. Nice. And a piece of heart, which is a big deal. Ah, okay. I do think I want to, um, I do think I want to try to get, because there is a piece of heart in the desert that I can get right now that is accessible before I go into the mining facility, and if I get it, I have an entire extra heart on my life meter. That's definitely worth it. But, I get the item check first, because the heart metal is in my pockets, and currently, I'm semi-cheating. And I want to fix that. Ah. Build up as much speed as possible. This bird is so fast, but he could be faster. And that's a thing I did make it so that if you get the Zelda and her Lothwing amiibo, it helps with the fast travel. But literally all it does is give you a to the sky button no matter where you are on the surface. It doesn't help with up in the sky at all. 
which uh, not great because well there's not much reason to uh, want to jump up to Skyloft anywhere that's not near a uh, saving point anyway but uh, Interact with you. Wait, actually, cause I wanna, I wanna put it in the pouch that's the one that's the same slot as the slingshot for reasons. So that means the bottom one. Yes. Yes, move them. We're going to make that slot the empty one. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use this. Shields up top, metal on. Metal's up top, shield on bottom. Because I'll have more out of use metals than out of use shields. Yes. This works. But yeah, there's just supposed there is a piece of heart in the desert that I did miss. And since I was expecting this the desert to take nowhere near as long, but also to do more than just the desert, I will get that heart piece. to the desert to get a heart piece and then yes <sighs> one if the if that amiibo fast travel may the the three pillars of light for the holes in the cloud into fast travel points. I think that would have been perfect. That wouldn't have been too hard to do. That would have made it so worth it. Missed opportunity. Ah. I'm nowhere near close enough to that. Down to the desert. Properly. Right. I think that... Yeah. I think we just want to go up here. Start, maybe. The, uh... Oh yeah, this is where we want to be. Save, save, save. This path is accessible now, I'm pretty sure. I just need to. I was just more concerned with opening the door. But. I can! Definitely. I just, well, need to actually get around a little better, but the fact I can just go this way does also help significantly. I would have had to go all the way around before I raised the temple. I need to be there. And that's... Hmm. 
Hmm. Is there a- is that the bomb wall that I didn't notice? It is! Would you look at that? Yet again, the un- The thing I couldn't find in this is just because- God! That- that crack in the wall is too visually subtle. Like, I know the game wants to make sure I'm using the map, but jeez. But, uh, That's fine. It was on the ceiling! Rude. a nice little cave, though. Yes. Oh. Alright, it's this area. Because this passageway, with all these claw shot targets, and Spider Man threw there all the way to the very first part of the desert I touched down in. Yay, heart capacity increased! Hell yeah! Hells to the yeah, we got the increased capacity. And it even healed me in the process and everything. And I should just be able to bolt there. Yeah. Barely, but yes. That is, that cube does make me wait for a claw shot. Screw you, bird. Suck. Let's go save. And let's but there what past the save point. As much as I love the mine. I think this has to be where I turn it off because this is the most reasonable stopping place I'm gonna have for like another two and a half hours. And I don't want the stream to run crazy long. But I do want to do this enough so that the next stream's probably gonna be pretty soon. Oh. Now in this case, we just save and quit, and... Powering down the stream. Goodbye, see you next episode when we actually delve into the mine.